What's up, you guys? I'm about to give you five tips on how to color anime style. By the way, I'm using Clip Studio Paint. This is one of my favorite programs I like to use. You guys should definitely purchase that up. But obviously, you can do it in Photoshop if you have that or other programs. First tip is the Lasso Fill tool. I literally just found this out a couple of days ago to a week. And this made things much easier because usually I just freehand my colors. And when you mostly look in anime, they usually have the straightest lines and crispy, sharp edges. And this would definitely guarantee you those crispy, sharp edges because you have more control over it instead of using a paintbrush that may take longer than using the lasso fill tool. Tip number two, you can use the transparency lock tool. It is right over here. Click on that puppy and guess what will happen? It will lock the colors in place so you won't go outside those colors. Kind of like you're using the magic wand, but instead of just picking the colors that you want to change, you don't have to do that. You just push on that layer and that's important. You know, always on the right side, what you see right here, I have all these layers separated from my shading and my lighting. And basically when you transparency lock on one of the layers, it will lock that layer so you will not go out that layer. So if I did my layer coloring on the shading part and I did transparency lock, I will not go outside that layer that I even drew on. So that's very important where, why you see a whole bunch of artists using layers if you're doing digital art, of course. Tip number three, if you don't wanna go in the hassle of trying to pick out the right color and this and that, and then you're getting mixed up with the colors, the shading or the lighting, well, especially for the shading, you can literally just use linear burn. Linear burn is a different mode that you can use on the layer that you have. So the layer on the right, what I just created was linear burn. You can put on multiply or anything, but I figure linear burn looks like the best. Um, and you could just pick one color. Usually I go like a, it depends on the scene. If it's a darker purplish color, and you could just shade the whole picture in just one shading. But the linear burn, will complement the under layer. So it'll complement the hair, it'll complement the skin, um, but I'm still using, even though it looks like it's different colors, I'm still using only one color for it. And then basically you just turn the opacity down to whichever that you like fitting, depending on your style, of course, or your scene, depending on how dark it will be or how light the shading will be. That will be an easier way to use that instead of just picking a, a different color. But like I said, depending on what you're trying to go for, it's always something in just cool and handy. Number four, the glow dodge mode. So the same thing like on the linear burn, the glow dodge is in the same mode that you could change on your layer. You know, first obviously it's starting at normal. You can change the multiply, linear burn, soft light. There's all kinds of things on there. But if you find one on your program that says glow dodge, or maybe called color dodge, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing, depending on your program. Glow dodge if you want that good shining effect, like I did on Naruto's cheeks right here and kind of his hair. Or you could do on the eyes, like that little glow filter. It'll be pretty bright in the middle, but on the edges, you'll see a, tra you'll see a transparent color, depending on which color that you wanna use for the glow dodge. And like I said, from all the tips that you used before, you can use the glow dodge to you know play around with it a little bit. You can transparency lock on a layer, um, like the shading, and you can use a glow dodge to it, so you could, you know, it'll complement each other basically. Just play around with a little bit, but I think that's a good tip to use. Tip number five is the line work. So depending on what you want to do, you could have all skinny line art, just one level of line work that you want to use, or if you're using a pressurized pen, which most tablet pens have, of course if you want to work that way. It looks really good when you use the transparency lock on the line work tool, and then you could color and you could shade it, use a, any marker, airbrush, G pen that you would like to use. It will look really nice, especially complementing the skin. It really pops out the character a lot instead of just using black colors, because when you use just all black colors on different illustrations, obviously depending on what you want to go for, Sometimes it looks too bland when it's just all black line work. If you want to switch it up and change it up a bit, you could use, I'm pretty sure you guys see that on anime sometimes. The face, around the face line work, it'll be brown or it could go from orange. It could go from really any color, depending, you know, just, just see what looks good, basically. Like usually for the hair, if it's yellow hair like Naruto's right here, it'll be, you know, an orange color or the same color as the shading. It'll be like a purple color or something. Um, just. 
just test it out just to see what you like on there but anyways you guys thanks again for watching i gave you the five tips that helped me out the most and hopefully it helped you out the most if you want some more stuff like this push that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i drop some nice animations and drawings like this or tutorials that may help you out but in the meantime why don't you go ahead and you see that video right there just go ahead and click that video I guarantee you'll like it Thank you.